What is happening gals and guys, Nick here and we are back with more Alan Wake 2. So we made it into... Uh, what's it called? Great Falls? Is it Great Falls? Have a look at the map. Bright Falls, sorry, I, I forgot. So we're heading over to the diner and we're gonna do some interviewing. I like these guys. What are you selling? Pepco. Looks like they're preparing for like a uh, festival here. Jesus Christ, I would love to live like this. Well, I I kind of do. We live close to the ocean. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's. Washington's Much obliged. You must be Sheriff Baker. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. No, Breaker. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? So... But it's slowed down ever since Calder Light was fast off. Okay, don't mind me. These the fellas, yes. Of course, we're gonna have a look around here first. The jukebox is out of order. The poor old thing can only take so much of the same song being played over and over and over. I'm as big a fan, big a fan of coconut as the next person, but. Come on. So I wonder if the toilets are back here. Hint, hint. They are. Aha! Probably <clears throat> locked, right? This is... Yeah, this is open. Look at that. Sort of a reflection. Nothing here, no batteries, stuff like that. Okay, so we have a locked thingy there. Question is, will it mark it on the map? No. Uh, we are over here. Yes, it will. That is fantastic. Screwdriver. Yeah, we don't have that yet. So I need to review the footage later as well to see if it is... Because it is... Me oh, wait. I'm dumb. There we go. Might be too dark anyway. Oh, another one of these. Rest easy, buddy. Gotta be symbolic. This is connected to her past somehow. So, flashlight, just a regular flashlight for now. I should probably have used the flashlight in the room. Okay, get to business. Excuse me, I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us? I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just saw that as fine. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Why were you at Colon Lake? Yeah, I want to know. What were you doing at Colon Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. 
We hear from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake. Mentioned his details. name. Perfectly legal. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Hmm. What makes you say it was a cult? Yes, see, that's interesting. The masks and knives aren't enough. Yeah, but you didn't say that. They were shouting, cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, see, now we have something to go on. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. We done here? Cult of the tree, the cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Triangle. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. Yeah. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. Damn straight she did. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The house was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. All right, all right, all right. Murder mystery. Okay. So that's the profiling thingy. Let's have a look over here then. Yep, we don't have anything else. I think you found something. So you something. found something there, right? Yeah. <laughs> a necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. I told you not to keep that thing to me. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing you. Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson, as I live and breathe. Here we go. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. Ooh, this is getting weird. If you say so. Yeah, I've seen something similar to this when they were previewing the game, but not this scene. That is, yeah, that is nuts. Okay, so I'm I'm quite enjoying this, I must say.
Uh, clues. Yes. So, what about this? The bookers describe multiple attackers wearing deer masks, shunting and tearing into the guy with knives. So, where do we put you? On the profile? Yes. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Yeah, that changes things. And we can... Okay, so we have the Cult of the Tree. Background cases. Accumulate clues about broader ongoing topics. Cult of the Tree. I need to know more about the Cult of the Tree if I'm going to shut them down. Talk to the people in the city. And now these will be revealed. So we have a couple of uh, slots. So you are what kind of cult? And cult goal. Necklace with triangle. I think this goes up here, right? Okay. And then we have you. We're in deer mash. Probably here as well. Okay, I guess not. Uh, who's involved? I don't know. Is it you? Yeah. Okay, cool. I think we're done. So, anyone else want to talk? Good day. All right. All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue. If you're ready to go, take a look. Let's go. We well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out your So it is a, is a thing in the city. I played some or in the town. The wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! Looks like you have some guests. We do. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Can we eavesdrop? Guess not. Yeah, hey, I'm what coming. Do you know about that waitress from the diner. <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. No, he's wow. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But Best not to take it personally. Yeah, so... Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Yeah, so what I was about to say is that... Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We if you've seen my... Sheriff previous stuff i get very easily right. distracted when playing games i want to collect everything and stuff so like that i'm gonna try my best to play this as it unfolds in a natural fashion not I'm qualified to perform may maybe to go out yes. of my way at places where it feels logically correct to do so but Else, I just want to play this like it is a movie. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Because then we can keep a red line in this. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. Okay. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. Got it. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? <clears throat> okay. So, first of all, collect. No. We want to check you, maybe. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. Yep. What about this? This looks like text. 
Yep. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. It, it doesn't add up. <laughs> no, that is weird. It's like it was dead already. Uh, we have the heart. There's writing on here. What? Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? Yeah, especially as they ripped it out and then they got caught. Well, they got distracted and left, right? Uh -huh. Here we go. They did leave something inside his chest. Okay. Let's go for you. And we have the examination Time to see of what you. Nightingale's body can tell us. Boom. Wonder if we can Yeah, cause of death. No. Maybe here. Yeah. <laughs> Defensive wound. Oh, here we go. And ritual writing. Yeah. Just smudged. Looks inverted. Hard to yeah. get a thin mark before removal. Body and heart. How did the killers have time? Doesn't make sense. Exactly. Okay, and then we have cause of death. There's definitely something in his chest. Did yep. the killers leave it there? Or was it there to begin with? Cause of bloating unknown. Strange tattoos and skin and heart. Something was inserted into the chest cavity. Chest trauma is clear. Cause of death, yes. And uh, we have that. Okay, examine. Yes, let's go. Get it! Is it a page? Just guessing here. Wallet. It's the same type of page we found nope, in the Nope, it is a page. Nightingale Haunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. What the hell? Oh shit. God damn. Oh my god. Well, we all know what this is gonna lead up to. Time to get that flashlight out. Didn't see her. Could not see into bright light. Uh oh. The page said to get into the light. Yep. Oh, 
we need to go. Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. Let me just uh, take a breather here. Holy shit, that is so freaking cool. Ah, oh, I love this. Okay. Uh, do we have time to go back to the board? No, mine play is currently unavailable. And we don't... Yes, we do have the flashlight. Or do we now? He can't see me in the light. Oh, he's there. How do the we... Out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. Oh shit. Come on. Oh! Don't trust it. Damn, character models look amazing. End of chapter, what the hell? Let's go! <laughs> I'm so freaking excited about this. That is fantastic. Yeah, so I wonder if we... I wonder if the music is copyright. I didn't see anything in... Uh, ah, shit. In the uh, options to switch it out. But I guess we'll find out once I upload the video. Not exactly sure what this is, though. Oh, wait. We're submerging from water, right? Okay, so this is... I uh, wonder if this will be a thing at each uh, end of... Uh, each uh, chapter end. Very nice. I'm gonna let this play and I'm gonna go and uh, throw away some trash here. What a start! Holy hell! Yeah, that was bonkers. Holy shit, I did not expect that. That was fantastic. Alright. Let's uh, continue here. <sighs> he didn't have a heart. Alright. But he still got up. So, uh, did all of it. Yeah, it did. Help me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared. Yep. What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Yeah, that is wild. Somehow we need to make sense of this. All right. So, uh, if it happens to be that the music is copyrighted, um, then uh, there will be a jump cut and you'll uh, uh, you won't be able to see it. I don't think so. I haven't read anything about it. So I think we're fine, but you never know. But uh, I'll, I'll uh, sort it out. And of course, if you're watching this, it's already sorted out. Okay, so this poor guy. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap 
Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. You can read your collected manuscript pages in the mind place. Yeah, I want to see how we do that. Oh yeah, it's here. That's right. Saga fights Nightingale with light. Ah, that is so cool. And we can listen to it with narrative. I love it. Um, let's actually talk to this guy first. We were attacked by a dead man. Yeah, no that's correct. Explanation to what we just saw. Nope. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. <laughs> I like this him. Was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Yeah. Now we can figure out a way forward. Thank you for that. What happened to right the sheriff? things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Yeah, that it was nuts. He, was on. Hmm. he seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Maybe. Maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Bringing an end to the world. Okay. Let's uh, let's do it. Okay, so we have Nightingale attacked us. A That's a new one. <laughs> Light as a way to fight him. Yeah. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This so I wonder if we get the uh, whole flashlight mechanic in this game, where you can kind of uh, make him susceptible to uh, damage. Is that a word? Mm. Susceptible? Mm hmm. 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 There we go. Okay, next up will be you, Cult of the Tree. Here we go. Casey, the Cult of the Tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Yep. And what else do we have here? Victims, body organs covered in writing, page found inside a chest. Is this actually writing part of ritual? We don't know that yet. Nighting A was the only victim to, to become a monster. Y yes. Look right. No, okay, put you here. And. Victim of cult killing became a monster. There is. That's not how we do that. Uh, you go. No. Okay. No. Down here. There we go. Wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Need to dig into this. There must be an explana explanation. Wouldn't count on it. Follow you into the dark. So we can actually listen to that. That's very cool. Didn't we get like tapes in control? Yes, we did. Okay. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Yes, but we will wrap here and continue with uh, chapter two in the next one. So is there actually a... Th was it like end of chapter, right? Yeah, end of chapter. All right, very cool, very cool. We'll uh, end it here. I'll start the recording of the next chapter right away because I can't wait to do so. But uh, in the meantime, thank you gals and guys for watching. If you do enjoy the content, you know what to do. And as always, chivity ammo.